hello guys welcome back in this video let's explore extrude tool in the blender software for that i'm going to select a polygon model and extrude it so before that how to create a polygon model here so go to the add menu and then we have mesh and then we can choose apart from that we can press shift a on the keyboard and then bring the add menu so go there and then just create a cube select the model and then um, press tab on the keyboard and then you should able to see uh, you have uh, the face selection which you can generally select and move then we have uh, a vertex selection okay and then we have uh, the edge selection so to select the face press 3 on the keyboard okay and then you could able to select the face okay or you can just use these three options here so vertex edge and face so for vertex you need to press 1 okay and then uh, for edge you need to press 2 for face we need to select 3 so we have these three options three components so we can select any of the face here okay and then you can extrude it with the extrude menu here so we have different types of extrusions we have extrude region extrude manifold extrude along normals extrude individual and extrude cursor so if i just go to the extrude region which is the default one uh, we get this manipulator which is having a line plus and then a rotation so let's try click and drag that rotation and you should able to see it's sort of uh, rotating and uh, we have uh, this line i just click and drag you should able to see it's freely extruding out and then we have plus when we click it's extruding in the normal so preferably uh, we can select the face okay and then we can just click and drag like that Ap uh, apart from that if you want to extrude uh, any face you need to select that and press e on the keyboard and then drag it and the faces extrude along the normal direction like that so when you are selecting the face and then choosing this tool you get a manipulator click that plus icon and move it which is same as selecting the face press e and then move it okay so these faces are extruded and uh, when you are pressing e and if you press any axis like x y or z you are moving the faces in that direction like that okay so you can choose that axis as you want it so uh, we have uh, we need to explore this along with the extrude normal okay so what is extrude normal again when i select it's going to extrude the faces in the normal direction it may look very similar but I'll show you the difference uh, here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a eucosphere and then press tab press 3 and then go to the uh, wireframe mode and then select all the faces like that okay so once I've selected and I'm going to select the extrude region and then move it and you should be able to see I'm getting that faces uh, extruded in the uh, you know upside the Z axis and I'm getting a sort of capsule effect okay uh, while when we select uh, this tool which is extrude along normals I'm getting the faces extruded outside in the normal direction which is giving um, a cap like effect or thickness like effect the normals are uh, uh, imaginary line which is perpendicular to the polygon plane so we have to uh, extrude it along normals in some cases or to the world coordinates xyz so if you want to extrude them in the normal x-axis you can do that like that but however if you want to extrude along the normals then you need to choose this and then they go outside like that you have another option which is uh, extrude individual which is going to extrude the faces uh, in the normal direction and every face is uh, extruded separately and when we are extruding this make sure that we are extruding only the faces 
for what ties and all uh, not recommended so uh, we have a, a manifold which is a sort of unique tool so let's see that for that i'm going to uh, select the model uh, i create a polygon cube okay and then press tab select the face choose a normal extrude like that then select this extrude and also select this side extrude now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose normal extrusion downside okay now here i'm going to select and then choose extrude manifold and then drag it now the difference can be clearly seen i'm going to select this face and move it and i'm going to select this and move it so uh, there is a concept called non manifold geometry uh, which is basically about uh, modeling certain things which are against polygon modeling rules so here this is uh, resulting in something like that so here when we select the face and extrude it manifold there's a um, the vertices are connected and there the faces which are there inside are deleted okay for that side normal extrusion the faces are there but this side the normals the 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 faces are not created in the center so it's a very um, beneficial tool i could say so let me select the model press tab select the face and then e when i'm dragging if i hold control it snaps incremental of 1 meter okay so that's like uh, enabling the snap option for your tool okay so we have uh, apart from that extrude cursor which i'm going to show you in a while before going into that let me select the model here and then um, create a uco sphere okay and then uh, select all the faces press tab select the faces like that and then press alt e okay now that brings up the same tools which are going to be like extrude tools here so i'm going to select the extrude of face and then do that now when i do that you got lot of options and we have uh, proportional editing which is nothing to do with extrusion but it is uh, something related to your translation and there is a concept called soft selection so proportional editing is a uh, alternate word used for soft selection tools in another software so when i enable that you could able to see uh, the result is uh, uh, blending here and uh, the way it's blending is also can be seen uh, differently okay so how much uh, that blending should happen and what kind of interpolation should that happen you can control there and uh, the amount of that thing is here and also you have uh, mirror editing which is going to uh, apply mirror so these options are not uh, specific to extrude but some translation so you can ignore that and mostly we need to explore these two options which are very important in terms of um, extrusion is concerned so i'm going to select a polygon cube okay and then select the face and then press e and then extrude then here we have the option called flip normals so sometimes uh, the normals what you get from the extrusion um, the normal direction may not be suitable to your requirement then if you want to flip it you can enable that option like that the next thing is dissolve orthogonal edges so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, create a polygon cube okay um, select the face and then i'm going to extrude it and then scale it okay now when i enable this dissolve orthogonal edges i should able to see this face has got vertices and there are some other uh, vertices which are at the same level so when i enable that they get merged so if you want 
uh, something like that you can use this orthogonal edges dissolve so that's really you need to check okay so I'm going to create the cube again uh, let me select the face and make sure that I'm in the move tool okay so I'm selecting that face now I'll go to any orthographic view which is uh, important now when I hold control and right click you should able to see the face is uh, extruded till the cursor click now, let's say if I click here the extrusion happened till there not only that you, you could see there is an orientation of the faces so the faces are rotating uh, to give that volume so this is a very useful feature and then if I hold shift control and right click the orientation is not happening and you see the tube effect is missing out there and uh, uh, when I'm extruding this we have extrude to cursor is the same thing actually so when I click at any face let me come back create a cube press tab select the face come to the orthographic view choose extrude to the cursor and then click then you get the same thing it extrudes wherever you click that face is there okay so when you're uh, extruding it as you want a more uh, uh, all type of uh, uh, extrusion options to be popping up then select the face and press alt e then you get all the types of extrusions what we have here